Good evening, Random Fam. How's it going? Welcome back to another video. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your support. And I think I messed up again. Hey, Random Fam. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing an unboxing video today. Um, if you haven't caught my previous video, it was a peg hunt video. It was really interesting on what I found. And by, I guess, pure luck. I would say pure luck. <laughs> Pure luck slash working my butt off, um, grinding like crazy to, you know, just every day, just jump into the stores and seeing what they got, what, what's left over and stuff like that. Um, so today's unboxing video is going to be a little special. Um, it's not any mainline streams that we're going to be um, unboxing today. We are actually going to be unboxing some red editions, especially the recently one, the recently, um, the ones that recently came out, excuse me, uh, the Nissan Skyline RS, the 67 Chevy C10, and the DeLorean Alphys. Um, a lot of people are, I could see it in the comments, like, why are you taking, look, they're meant to be open. Certain ones, yeah, certain, if, if, if I have two of them, of course I'm going to open one and then um, keep the other one still on this card. So... If you guys look at my um, previous to previous peg hunt video where I did find um, the red editions, I had grabbed two of each just so I can have one opened up and then the other one still in its card uh, form. So just so I can have, you know, share with you guys. So let's go ahead and start unboxing these uh, red editions. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get going. We're gonna start with our red edition, which is the DeLorean Alphys, which looks really sick. And it's black. Here we go in the comment section. Don't do it. Too late. Ooh. That's a pretty good, clean unboxing. Oh, a little light there, but that's a little bit better. I had to turn the light on. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. It's a really cool design. For the uh, DeLorean Alphys. Let's see if we get a little close up. There you go. This is the DeLorean right there. Dig in the headlights. The wheels and rim look really sick. Now look at that. We got the tail lights, the DeLorean sign. And then I guess another set of tail lights on the bottom. We got the little red edition right there. It says red. So pretty cool. I like it. A little light, but yeah. All right, so next one is the 67 Chevy C10. I did have a regular C10, which is just right there. Oh, pretty cool. So the crazy thing is, besides the paint and everything, there's no difference in there. Just a different paint job. So you got the red edition, then the regular C10. Cool. All right. Let's get going on this. Oh, this wasn't a clean one. No, no worries. Ooh, this one's got a little weight to it. Not bad. Keep driving. Hot Wheels. There's a little red logo. 24 Hot Wheel. Hot Wheel cars, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what that is. But all in all, it's a really good casting on the C10. So I got the red mirror. Or, sorry, red windows. And then the interior is like a metallic silver. Yep. And you got the uh, silver bed. A little disappointed here that they didn't paint the tail lights right there. Not bad. 
his rims, black, red on black. Cool, cool, cool. It's a really good one. And the one everybody's been waiting for, the Nissan Skyline KDR30. Okay, there we go. This is a heart attack for everyone right here. The Skyline being taken out of its card and being touched with bare hands. <laughs> So there's the red logo right there, the RS Turbo, number six. Oh, almost lost focus there. The only bad part is the headlights are not painted, but the paint scheme on it is really good. Dig in the tail lights. See the little Hot Wheel logo right there. And then you got the tail lights. Rims look pretty cool. Got a little sunroof action happening. You can see there you go. Black interior, black exterior, black on black. We're gonna have to probably do something about the keep on looking. Sorry, keep on losing focus on that. I guess it needs to be closer. So yeah, the headlights definitely gotta get painted. So definitely uh, near the near future, we'll probably just end up painting them. But I think it's clear, yeah. Yeah, they have that clear plastic on them. It's hard to tell in the video, but you can. So yeah, those are the red editions that just recently came out in the F case for 2024. So those are the red editions. Then I got some stuff. So I had picked up some stuff that I did not record and I wanted to show you guys. It's in the bag right here. And this was just by fluke. This was by fluke, all jokes aside. I think it was like four in the afternoon when we went, when I took my son to Target and found the Fast and Furious Toyota Sorara, or Sorara? I don't know how to say it. Sorry, guys. Pretty cool, all right? Number two of five. And, booyah! Yeah, the Nissan Silvia S15. This beauty right here. If I had two, I'd open one. Oh no, a great looking casting. So you got the headlights, tail lights, everything's painted. I guess since this is a premium, they did that. Same thing with the Serrara. So yeah, it says Falcon right there. If you can see, yep. And then the headlights, the tail lights with the Toyota logo right there. And then Got the Falcon logo right there, which is pretty cool. So that's two things that we found. And a couple more things. So I'm just bringing them over now. This one was on a different day that I found in the Target. It was another Fast and Furious. It was the Lycan Hypersport. So the five, the five additional ones were the Chevy Camaro, the Charger SRT Hellcat wide body, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ60, and then the Plymouth GTX. So when I saw this, none of these were there. Like everything was just gone. I was like, I'll just pick it up. And I love the paint on there because it has that metallic red, and you can just see how the paint's just popping in the light. Which is really cool. Uh, another two that we did find were moving parts. Matchbox moving parts. The Ford Mustang Boss 302. Which is also really good. Um, I love how the uh, details, I mean, details look really good on that. The other moving part is the Ford Focus RS. 2024. And I believe this... 
maybe a 2024 as well, or a 23, I don't know. Do they have a date anywhere on these things? No, oh, I guess it's 2024, but if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, this was some of the stuff that I did find, and I'm gonna bring one more thing out. Hold on. So the Walmart had a mystery model box, and it looks like somebody had already gone through them. So I ended up just finding one. And if you guys can look right there, you see the number eight, or sorry, the number three. And there's the number three. The mystery vehicle is the Lancer, but I only found number three. Everything, the number one and number two pack were gone. Everything was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 except for this which was the only three in there i guess they must have left it by accident but yeah i was able to find this mystery model which is pretty cool i haven't opened it but it's been sitting for about a few weeks now all right guys hopefully you guys love the uh unboxing video of the red editions i know some of you guys will be really mad at me for opening up the red editions but i wanted to open them up i got one still in the uh pack and I have now have a loose one, and I understand it's like limited edition and unique to just the targets. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wanted to open it for the guys that have been with me from the start of this channel. I want to thank you guys. Thank you for continuing to support me. And uh, once again, thank you to the uh, new subscribers as well. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you for the people that ha that are currently interacting with, interacting with me on the videos and asking me questions, also giving me heads up and stuff like that. I want to thank you guys on that, um, especially uh, to my fellow YouTubers. Thank you, guys. I appreciate every single help. All right. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Enjoy. Live life. Peace, and hopefully you guys find what you're looking for. Good night.